You've seen it everywhere. People taking collagen powders hoping to get glowing, useful skin. But here's the thing. Not all collagen is created equal, and some of it might not be doing much at all. Today, I want to break down the real science behind collagen, gelatin, amino acids, and what actually works for skin health. As a dietitian, I get asked all the time, should I take collagen for my skin? And my honest answer is, it depends. What's collagen? Collagen is most abundant protein in your body. It gives structure to your skin, keeps it firm and elastic, and declines naturally as we age, especially after our 20s. Sun damage, stress, and poor nutrition speed up this process, leading to wrinkles, dryness, and thinning skin. So yes, supporting collagen is a great goal, but the question is, what's the best way to do it? Let's start with bone broth. People love to call it liquid collagen. But here's the truth. It contains gelatin, not hydrolyzed collagen peptides. The amount of actual collagen varies widely. It hasn't been shown in clinical trials to improve skin elasticity or hydration. It's warm, comforting food, but not a reliable skin supplement. A quick note on gelatin. It's partially broken down collagen used in food and sometimes supplements, but it's less absorbable and not as well studied for skin benefits as hydrolyzed peptides. Now, collagen supplements, specifically hydrolyzed collagen peptides, do have some solid science behind them. They are broken down into tiny peptides that your body can absorb, and some studies show they may stimulate our fibroblasts to produce more collagen and improve hydration and elasticity. But remember, these effects are modest, not miraculous, and let's be clear, collagen supplements are not without criticism. They are not regulated like medicine since, so quality can vary. Some products have been found to contain heavy metals or contaminants. The long-term effects are still not fully understood, and most importantly, they don't replace your own collagen, they just send signals to stimulate production, which still depends on your overall health and nutrition. Here is where it gets interesting. Collagen is made from amino acids, especially glycine, proline, and lysine. You can get that those from food or take them as standalone supplements. Now, we don't have as much direct research on amino acids alone for skin health, but in theory, I think if your diet supplies enough high-quality protein and key amino acids, your body can make its own collagen, especially when supported with the right cofactors. But as I said, while promising, amino acid supplements haven't been studied in isolation for skin benefits as rigorously as collagen peptides. Taking single amino acids may not reflect how the body naturally uses them in synergy. And just taking more glycine or lysine won't work if you are missing other nutrients like vitamin C or zinc. In my opinion, if you really care about skin health, here is what really matters long term. Enough protein in your diet? You need raw materials to build collagen. Key micronutrients like vitamin C, zinc, omega-3s, and antioxidants that support collagen production and reduce damage. Hydration and sleep. They sound simple, but they are essential. Topical skincare, like daily SPF to prevent collagen breakdown. And lifestyle, smoking, stress, poor nutrition, all degrade collagen. Collagen supplement? They may help some people, but they are not magic. And they are not necessarily for everyone. If you eat well, take care of your skin from the outside and inside, and avoid major collagen-destroying habits, your skin will thank you. I choose to support my body with vitamins, antioxidants, and whole foods, because I believe in sustainable, evidence-based health. So instead of obsessing over collagen powders or bone broth hype, let's focus on the whole picture of skin health. It's not one powder or pill. It's your entire routine inside and out. And let me know in the comments, have you tried collagen supplements or amino acids? What's worked for your skin? And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with someone chasing glow in a bottle marketing claims. See you in the next video!